So today I'm basically going to do a time lapse of me shipping and go over what's sold. Stay tuned. First up is a pair of white harachas that I got at Goodwill for $20 and they sold for $59.99 plus shipping. As far as packing, nothing special. Put them in a shoe box with some packing paper and stuff. Ship them out. And then I always write the zip code on the package to match the labels up too. Next up is this zip face toy. You put like some weird goo in this thing and squeeze it and goo comes out of the face. It only sold for $7.49. Free shipping. I don't remember what I paid for it, so I'm probably not making any money on this. Just getting it out of the way. So this next item I forgot to pre-pull. I'm telling myself to hold on, so let me skip forward. And it's a wand from Great Wolf Lodge. I don't know if other water parks or amusement parks have it, but it's like a game the kids can run around the hotel and they open up the treasure chests and look for clues and stuff like that. Trying to find a, a tube or a box to fit it in. And I finally found a big poster tube that I can put it in. All right, Let's just wrap it up in some bubble wrap, making sure it fits first. And I believed I paid four or five dollars for this and it sold for twenty dollars and twenty four cents plus shipping. Then I just realized I forgot to verify the weight of the first two packages I packaged up. Next is actually a patch that I designed and had made. It's a Wu-Tang Wayne's World mashup of Wu's World. And they sell for $5.50 each plus shipping. I buy them in bulk for a dollar each. Next is a Jurassic World dinosaur, battery powered. I got it the bins, so electronics at the bins are 69 cents a pound. So I paid 47 cents for that. So I didn't have a problem taking the offer of $12 plus shipping. Packaging, nothing special. Wrapped it in bubble wrap, put in a box. If I can't get the old label off, I'll scribble it out, put a blank label over it, and then put my new label over the blank label. That way it doesn't show any of the address or anything underneath. Next is a Tiffany & Co. clock, little desk clock with an AT&T engraved on the top that I got at the bins probably a year ago now. And I think this is kind of the case that uh, Drew Profit Monsters was talking about, that it got delisted. I, I believe I sold it at one point and they never paid and it didn't automatically relist it. And I only realized that probably a month ago and relisted it and now it's sold. And it sold for $25 plus shipping. This was a bins find. Again, electronics. But it's pretty heavy, so it probably cost me 4 or $5. This was exactly 3 pounds, which is what I had it listed for on the weight. So that was awesome. That didn't go over. Next item is a Adidas um, build beanie. Um, got at the bins for about 20 cents and it sold for 11.24 free shipping. I thought it was plus shipping. But, oh well. So I tried to bag up hats in these little clear plastic bags before I put them in any packs just to give it. I don't know if it protects it anymore, but it definitely probably looks better to a customer opening it up. Next is a Peyton Manning Christmas sweater, Denver Broncos, NFL branded, kind of cool I guess if you if that's your team, it's kind of funny. 
Uh, so this sweatshirt's kind of bulky. Um, it's a 2XL. I'm trying to get it to fit in one of those little plastic bags. And I don't have any left, it just tears it, so this one's not going in a bag. It sold for $22.49 plus shipping. And this was a bins find, so I maybe paid $2 for it. The next is a Columbia Sportswear like fishing vest thing, an outdoor hiking vest. It's pretty nice. This was a bins find as well. This is a little bit heavier than that sweatshirt. So this is probably $3, $4. And it sold for $18 plus shipping. Next, a little diecast car, the Decades of Petty. There was a bunch of these donated to my local Goodwill. They're a dollar each. Uh, right now, I'm trying to figure out what I should ship it in. I don't want to put it in a in a in a padded pack and have it rip through. So I got to go look for a box here in a second. The box is probably a little overkill, but it was the smallest one I could find, and I feel like messing with anything and trying to reshape anything so I'll just throw it in there with some bubble wrap and it sold for $8.99 plus shipping and like I said there were several of these but when I looked them up this was the only one selling for a decent amount And the last thing is a Green Bay New Era beanie. Pretty cool. It has a metallic NFL logo on the back. Got that at the bins last week for 26 cents. And it sold for $7.65 plus shipping. Again, putting it in one of those clear bags before I throw it in a poly mailer. So my total shipping cost was $78.38. And now it's pretty simple. Once I got the labels printed out, I just match them up with the zip code that I wrote on the packages. Nothing today was an awkward box or weird packaging or anything, so I didn't have to break anything down like that. Everything was in a regular box or, uh, you know, priority padded pack or something kind of simple. But if I have something like that in the future, I'll definitely go through my steps on how I package certain things. And all these orders are from the full weekend from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is not one day by any means, but pretty good weekend. And I think you get it. I'm putting the labels on the packages. Nothing special to see here. Let's cut it. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace.